In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect a Bluetooth or USB keyboard and mouse to your iPhone or your iPad. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today. Now, why would you want to connect a mouse or a keyboard to your iPhone or iPad? Well, I'm going to cover that at the end of the video, so hang around for that. There are also timestamps down in the description, so if you want to jump around to a different section, you can do that. And I've also got links to all of the products that I talk about in this video down in the description as well. Now, there are two different ways that you can connect keyboards and mice to your iOS device. There is USB and there is Bluetooth. So I'm gonna firstly break down the difference between the two and let you know some of the advantages of each one. Bluetooth devices like this Logitech K480 keyboard connect via Bluetooth directly to your iPhone or iPad. So all you need to do is turn Bluetooth on your device and then connect it up and you're good to go. So that's really convenient, especially when you're mobile. The one major drawback of Bluetooth is it does use a bit of extra power and it does have a little bit of additional latency at times, which means you may hit a key or move your mouse and it won't be instantaneous, which can get a little bit frustrating if you're trying to do something really precise, but if you're on the go, it can be a great solution. The other way you can connect is via USB. So you can use any wired or wireless USB mouse or keyboard like this desktop from Logitech, the MK345. However, there is one additional piece of gear that you need to do this. And that is one of these, the Apple Lightning to USB 3 adapter, which allows you to connect USB devices to your Lightning based iPhone or iPad. And all we need to do then is connect up the USB cable or the USB receiver into the adapter and you'll be good to go. So now that you know the basics, let's flip things around and I'll show you exactly how we can connect both a Bluetooth and a USB keyboard and mouse. Let's start with how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard. Now I'm gonna use my iPad here, but the exact same processes work for your iPhone and you will need iOS 13 or iPad OS 13, the latest version. Now this is the Logitech K480. It's a Bluetooth keyboard. You can connect up to three devices at once, which is why it's my favorite. And you can connect it to a PC or a Mac or iOS device as well with these switches here. So what we need to do to get this set up, first of all, is to tap on our settings here on the iPad or iPhone and tap on Bluetooth. Now every Bluetooth keyboard will be slightly different. With this one, we select which number device we want and then we tap and hold on this I button over here. The blue light there will start blinking rapidly and up pops the keyboard here on our Bluetooth devices. We simply tap on that one and it will connect and boom, we are connected. This keyboard, the blue light's on there. You can see that we're connected directly to our iPad, ready to go. Connecting a Bluetooth mouse, however, is slightly different because a mouse is technically an accessibility option. We need to actually go into the accessibility menu here and tap on the touch button here to go into our assistive touch option. We're gonna to tap to turn on assistive touch. And what we need to do now is come down here to devices, tap on pointer devices, and then tap on Bluetooth devices. So now it's looking for a Bluetooth pointer device so we can start turning on our mouse and getting it connected. So I've simply tapped the connect button here on my M590 and you can see there on the screen it has popped up. Once again, we just tap on this one. It's going to ask us if we wanna pair the device. We tap pair and it's going to pair our device. And now you can see already that we've got our mouse pointer there on the screen. And if you wanna learn more about connecting mice to your iPad or iPhone, there is another video linked down in the description with more detail about how to get set up. And now you can see we can use our mouse pointer, we can use it to select different things. And if we come in here, we can use our keyboard to type directly into here. So this is a really convenient and useful portable setup. And once again, if you're interested in these two Logitech products, there are links down in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means if you make a purchase, they break off a little chunk and send it my way. Let's jump over to our USB devices. Now this is actually even simpler because all we need to do is grab the cable or in this case, the unifying adapter here, plug it into the USB port and then plug the lightning end into our iPad like so, or our iPhone, and that is actually connected now. Nothing actually pops up to tell you it's connected, but it is. And let's just jump back over here to our OneNote document that we had before. And again, you can see we can start typing directly again with this keyboard. So with a USB keyboard, you won't get anything pop up saying you're connected, but as soon as you plug it in via your Lightning to USB 3 adapter, it'll be connected and ready to use. 
And as you may have already noticed, our mouse is already connected as well. So we're ready to go here. We can click around on our different items here and we can select things and we can use our different mouse buttons for different functions. And once again, there's a video which will be linked down in the description all about how to get all of your mouse functions set up if you want to get the most out of using a mouse with your iPhone or iPad. Now at this point you might be thinking, Pete, that's great that you can connect your mouse and keyboard, but why would you want to? Well, I'm going to finish off by giving you the top four reasons why I use a mouse and keyboard with my iPad and iPhone. The number one reason is pretty obvious and that is to actually type. So I use OneNote, but it doesn't matter if you're using Word documents or Evernote or anything, anything that you type in here. So I can type, I hope this video is useful. And that's a lot quicker than me typing on the touch screen. So if you do a lot of typing, if you do a lot of writing on your iPhone or iPad, a typing keyboard can be really handy. The number two reason that I love having a keyboard is you can use keyboard shortcuts. So you can do things like alt tabbing like you do in Windows to go between your different apps. And then you can even use keyboard shortcuts within your app so you can move up and down and there's a whole bunch of other things that we can do in here and if you want to find out all of the keyboard shortcuts if you hold down on the command or the alt button here on there you can see that it brings up all of the different functions we have and again that's why I love this Logitech K480 because it has both the Mac and iOS commands as well as your Windows commands and if you release you're back to here so you can easily get to all of your different shortcuts just by holding down on that button shortcuts super cool what about our mouse? Well, I don't know about you, but when I'm using my finger and I'm trying to move something, it's really hard to get that precise level of control that I often need. However, with a mouse pointer, I'm much better at clicking and doing those really fine, finite movements. It just makes it a whole lot easier when you're in things like audio and video editing and pretty much any other app that requires some really precision placement and timing. And if you've got big fingers like mine that don't do well on the touch screen, a mouse can certainly improve things. Thanks. And last but certainly not the least important is ergonomics. So I don't know about you, but when I'm reaching for a touch screen and I'm spending a lot of time tapping, I get a very sore shoulder. I'm actually much more used to using a nicely designed ergonomic mouse because my elbow and my wrist are down on the desk and it's a lot more comfortable for those long sessions if you're using your iPhone or iPad for a long period of time. There are two more videos all about connecting USB devices to your iPhone or your iPad right down below. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today logo. And don't forget, down in the description, I have links to all of the products that I used in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.